In this video, we're going to add some code that makes our start button work and also makes our background switch uh, to the game background once the game has started. So we're going to be working with the block palette in the middle of our screen. And I'm going to start with this uh, starting image background. So make sure that you are on stage under backdrops. You want to make sure that you are on the first backdrop. You have that one selected. And now we're gonna do scripts. Click on scripts. And in our scripts editor, what we need to do is to say that when this start flag is clicked, and there it is right there, we want to show this background. So right now I'm in events, but in order to show a particular background, I need to go into looks. So I'm gonna click the looks category, and I'm gonna choose switch backdrop to and I'm gonna choose this drop down arrow and notice the start and the game back, backdrops are here. Uh, also, you have options for next or previous backdrops. I'm gonna go ahead and click start because that's where we want to start our game. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is add the code that tells it to switch to the other backdrop. So to do that, I go in events and I'm gonna go down here to this block that says when I receive and it has message one. Hmm. I'm going to click this drop down arrow and choose new message and we're going to give it a message of start game. So go ahead and make sure you do the same thing and I'm going to choose OK. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that start game in just a minute. The next thing I'm gonna do is go back to looks and I'm gonna switch the backdrop to game. So all this code is saying is when the game starts, we're on our start background. And then when it, when it receives a signal and that signal is we called start game, it's gonna switch it to the game backdrop, which is our next backdrop. So we need to next code our start button. So I'm gonna come down here and click on our start sprite and again in costumes just make sure that we are on the right sprite and the right costume which we are and i'm going to choose scripts and for this one i'm going to come under events and make sure that when the game starts under looks i want to choose show and i'm going to make sure that it locks in at the right place okay so under control I'm going to choose forever and under motion I'm going to choose go to and has an X and Y value and those are already set based on where our start button already is so we don't even need to change anything. So basically this is saying when the game starts show the button in this location. Pretty simple. Now we're going to add a little bit more code. So under events when this sprite is clicked so when I click on start something happens we're going to broadcast, you guessed it, start game. So it sends that signal that says, okay, now we're initiating the game. And if you remembered, that start game is also going to initiate the change in the backdrop. And I'm going to just go ahead and test this. There's one more thing I need to do, but I want to show you something before, um, before I just tell you how to do it. So we're going to test it out by clicking the start game here. And I'm going to choose start. And voila, our background change. What didn't change, however, is where the start button is and that it's showing. So what I need to do is to hide this start button when the game starts. So going back to the script over here, we're gonna continue this code to say, when I receive start game, I'm gonna go to looks and I'm gonna find hide. We're gonna hide it. All right, so pretty simple. When clicked, it shows. When, I'm sorry, when the game starts, the button shows. When the sprite is clicked, it broadcasts a signal that says start game. And now this last little bit has basically said when it, when it receives that signal, we're gonna hide because that means the backdrop's changing and we need to get out of the way for the next part of our game. So let's test it again. I'm gonna click start and this time my start button should disappear and it does. All right, awesome. In the next video, we're going to start adding our first question for our game. See you in the next video.